Shalom, Yashala, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yasha Allah. Call Haloyim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Harakhah Kodash. Blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwa that's keeping the faith in the work. Shall keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more quoted precepts. Scripture tells us the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That's a roughly paraphrasing. But prayer works, right? And, and it works for the righteous, right? The righteous are the individuals, you know, that are trying to do what thus says the Lord. Even though the Howard tells us that our righteousness is as filthy rags, still we put forth the concerted effort to, you know, be good in the eyes of the Lord and be right in the eyes of the Lord, you know, um, that's all we can do, and do, uh, do it, doing it all through faith, right, uh, scripture tells us, uh, he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination, so that fervent prayer is coming from an individual that is following, thus says the Lord, to the best of their ability, right, practicing the righteous acts, land of our captivity, right, and, you know, praying every step of the way, how the elders, uh, you know, the elder apostles, you know, suggested, and it, it's an awesome suggestion, man, you should pray, really, all the time, scripture tells us, pray everywhere, <laughs> pray everywhere, pray always, so scripture is, is informing us, it's instructing us to stay in prayer, right, um, but like I said, how the elders was, was instructing us, you know, every day that you wake up, you should pray. Every morning um, that you, you know, arise out, out of the bed, pray. All right? Um, pray before you go anywhere. All right? Pray throughout the day. All right? Uh, pray over your food. You know? Uh, because, and, and you're doing all this for a reason. Scripture tells us that the preparations in the heart and man and the answer of the tongue are from the Lord. So if the most I got you praying about a certain thing, that means that you really need to be praying for that thing. If you're praying every morning before you, you know, get on these um, roadways to go wherever it is you're going to go, you really need to, you need to say that prayer because we don't know what, some, what, what, what tomorrow brings. We don't know, uh, you know, what the Most High has in store for the individuals that we are around, and we don't want to get caught up in it, right? We don't want to get caught up in another man's judgment, right? But at the end of the day, man, just pray, man, especially in these times that we're living in. The scripture tells us that we're living in some evil times, and we can clearly see it uh, if you have eyes to see. If you can't see, we're living in, in, in evil times, man. You're just really deaf, dumb, and blind. But um, make sure you maintain a prayer life, man. Um, a consistent, um, powerful prayer life. Prayer life. That's our connection to the Father. You know, He He's allowing us to speak to Him again, and uh, He's allowing us to be heard. So, so all we got to do is just follow suit with uh, what Yahweh Shai, you know, did and told us to do. You know, um, uh, Yahweh Shai told us the Lord already know exactly what we want from day to day. That's why we say the Lord's prayer. He instructed us to say the Lord's prayer. Right, but um, that's not to say that every time you send you send a prayer up, that's what is that's what's being spoken. Right, you should pray the Lord's prayer every day, but you know throughout the day, ask for what you want. Scripture Scripture also says you have not because you ask not. Right, so ask for what you want, man, and and you know if you're doing it in a truly sincere heart, the Most High hear you and He'll make a way for you to get the things that you need. Right. Um, so that's really all I have to say, man. I guess that's all the spirit, you know, is putting on me to speak on. Make sure you stay prayed up, Yasharala, because we living in some real dangerous times, man. Um, <laughs> I mean, like some re extremely dangerous times. You know, um, this place has never been div as divided as it is now. Um, the only thing it's missing is an actual physical, you know, altercation to solidify the division. Meaning a civil war, <laughs> right? So, but the Most High said this on the way, 
right? Um, Second Ezra chapter 15, so so forth and so on, right? Well, you know, um, scripture tells us that, you know, friends shall fight as enemies, so forth and so on. But these are the times that we need to be praying, right? These are the times that we need to be prayed up, right? Pray always, right? Pray everywhere, right? Stay prayed up, Yasharala. I am with that, man. Y'all about Shemel Shah these quality precepts in this video were edifying. Call Haloyim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Harakha Kodash Shalawam Yasha Allah.